We got some dope news today. Let's go. Get it, Ratchet. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have dope news galore today big news in the gaming industry and we're gonna talk about it but before we get started you already know give the video a like thumbs up thumbs up all right the two most popular systems on the planet right now have both gotten system updates and one of them was a little weird but first the PlayStation 5 system update 21.01-03.20.00 is now out. Whew. And the patch notes simply say this system software update improves system performance. And so dudes are like, all right, what just happened? Because if you have your PS5 first, if you put it in sleep mode, by default, I believe automatic system updates happen, which my PS5 updated probably automatically. I might get a notification that say your system has been updated, yada, yada, yada. But the PS5 since launch has been notorious for crashing. And so <coughs> hopefully they've had a series of updates that has improved system stability. And so we get another system update that will alleviate some of the problems developers are having with the hardware. And so your PS5 should be running a little bit more smoother. Now, there is another console that has gotten another system update. And I said, this one was a little weird. The Nintendo Switch had a software um, update, a Switch firmware update, version 12.0.3, and then it was pulled, and now it's back out into the wild. So something may have happened where, well, we know what happened. Um, systems were getting download errors, and so Nintendo is saying, um, now it's safe to re-download, so make sure you update your Switch to the safe um, latest system software um, it was originally out and then Nintendo pulled it and so now it's back out again go to your um, systems your switch system um, software and get the latest update and again this one um, just um, switches um, improves system stability all right all right they said one of the reasons why they pulled, and there's some reasons why they pulled it. Nintendo has updated up. This is hot coming in fresh. All right. That they acknowledged that there was a network connectivity issues during the update and that it was causing SD cards to not be formatted um, correctly. Um, and so they had to stop it and then restart it. So both systems, your PS5 and Switch, long story short, have received system updates. And the gargantuum, the big news today, Battlefield 2042 has been officially revealed. And that's the name of the game. It's not called Battlefield 6. Battlefield 2042. I think somebody was telling me that the first Battlefield game was called 1942. So this one's called 2042. I have to say the game looks good, but there is some controversy. And I'm going to tell you all why I think this is a good decision. The game will not have a single player mode. No single player mode. And here is why. It comes down to money. EA is a business. They look at the stats and they say people buy Battlefield, buy Call of Duty, and most people, there are people that still do the campaign, <coughs> which are, is like four hours long anyway. Most people just go right to multiplayer. So they're like, it's not worth all the development costs, 
paying actors, doing all of this, yada, 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 and nobody's playing it. And so they made the decision to go straight multiplayer. And here's what interesting and pretty lit with the multiplayer. First, no battle royale. There was a rumor that they were going to have some kind of battle royale. No battle royale. It's going to be 128 players on next-gen consoles on the PS5, Xbox Series S and X. 128 players on a battlefield and there's going to be siege style characters meaning there's going to be different character classes if you go to call of duty everybody's the same um type of player it depends on what gun you choose but there's going to be actually different classes in this uh, in the game which is pretty dope now if you have a ps4 um, Xbox One, it'll be just 64 players instead of 128 players, and the maps aren't going to be as large on last-gen consoles. So, Battlefield 2042, they had an event. I wasn't home. I couldn't live stream my live reaction, but that's the game. All right, and the last news item, I thought this is pretty dope. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart Sackboy Costumes have been announced i'm in the middle of platinuming sackboy right now sackboy big adventure on my ps5 but uh available to download from the playstation store on june 11th um you could get um ratchet and rivet sackboy costumes i'll be getting both dope 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 stuff speaking of that sackboy um i'm not sackboy ratchet and clank rift apart launches june 11th can't wait that's in two days goaded bro it's gonna be another game of the year contender the reviews are already in great game phenomenal game let's go get it all right dudes those are the news items for today sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things game bro we out of here boy